Graffiti on a local high school campus calling the principal the N-word. A teacher was also targeted. Tenders reporter Candace Crone is live at Sarah High School with the reason that the two think that they were targeted. Candace. Yes, someone used a black Sharpie like this to scribble the principal and the teacher's name along with a racial slur. Now, students I spoke with say they don't understand why anyone would stoop so low. Sarah High School principal Vincent Mays and teacher Allison Middleton are the victims of a hate crime at their own school. On Tuesday, vandals wrote both their names along with the N-word in two different parts of campus. During a school board meeting, Middleton told the board she believes she was targeted for supporting Mays. In speaking out in support of him, I think I have been retaliated against. Um, I was forwarded a picture of my name with the word n beside it. Several teachers have been trying for months to have Mays removed as principal. Ten News was the first to tell you last October about allegations that Mays did not have a legitimate PhD. Some staff members also claimed he sexually harassed and bullied them. A spokesperson for the district says they are not sure if the recent graffiti is related. I don't even know what to say because if it was a student or a teacher, I'm not sure because I don't see why a student would get involved with that. Yeah, kind of offensive, but like, but like. I don't know, like how I feel about it personally, I'm just confused like why they would do it. Students were stunned when they learned about the vandalism. School police are combing through surveillance video hoping to catch whoever is responsible. I think he's a pretty good principal. Every single day he was always walking around shaking people's hands, greeting everybody. I think he's a good principal. I reached out to Mays for comment but did not hear back. The district is asking anyone with information about the vandalism to call Crime Stoppers. We're live in Tierra Santa tonight, Candace Crone, 10 News.